Hey guys, my name's Veronica. And my name's Rachel. And, and welcome, welcome to Sleeptopia. So today we are going to be answering some questions about obstructive sleep apnea and home sleep testing. So, the first question is, what is obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA? Obstructive sleep apnea is when the muscles that support your throat, like the soft tissue for your soft palate and your tongue, temporarily relax and breathing is momentarily cut off. Obstructive sleep apnea is a serious sleep disorder. So what exactly is snoring? Snoring is the hoarse or harsh sound that occurs when airflow passes the relaxed tissues in your throat, causing the tissues to vibrate as you breathe. So what is REM sleep? REM, R-E-M, stands for rapid eye movement. During this cycle of sleep, your eyes will move and dart underneath your eyelids. During REM sleep, your brain activity increases, your pulse rate quickens, and you have dreams. REM sleep first takes place after you've been asleep for around 90 minutes. So another common question is what is your AHI? Your AHI is your apnea hypopnea index. The AHI is the amount of times your body naturally stops breathing per hour. So the mild OSA range is between an AHI of 5 and 15. Moderate OSA ranges from an AHI of 15 to 30 events per hour. And severe OSA ranges from an AHI of 30 plus events per hour. So some people want to know what's the difference between a home sleep study and an in-lab sleep study? So an in-home sleep study you can do at your house, in your bed, on your own pillow with your partner. Um, while in lab, you are required to go somewhere else, whether that's a sleep center, a hotel room, or even a hospital. Now an in lab sleep study, also known as a polysomnogram, records your brain waves, your eye movement, your limb movement, and your SpO2 levels. Another great question is, will my insurance cover the sleep study? Home sleep studies are covered by most insurance plans. Sleeptopia enjoys in-network status with Aetna, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Cigna, Coventry, TRICARE, Medicare, and many more. So do you have to change your normal sleep routine? The answer is no. The device is designed to allow you to keep your normal nightly routine, and the device allows you to sleep with your normal pillows, blankets, and it will not generate any noises to disturb your partner you will be able to sleep and move freely during the home sleep study. Another common question that we get is, what doctor do I have to go to to get a sleep study? Which has a super fun answer of you can go to your primary care physician and mention that you may have some symptoms of obstructive sleep apnea. You can ask that your primary care physician refer you over to us, um, and you can just ask if um, you can do a home sleep study with Sleeptopia. So is there anything you need to do before your home sleep study? So the day of your appointment, a Sleeptopia sleep specialist will provide face-to-face -face instruction on how to properly use the device. So during the appointment, you will be asked to fill out a few forms prior to performing your home sleep study. The average appointment takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Some things that you should not do the day of your sleep study is don't nap, don't use any lotions or creams on your face or your body, don't wear makeup or jewelry, don't wear acrylic nails or nail polish, and try to avoid caffeinated foods and beverages such as chocolate, teas, and coffee. You can, however, take your normal medications as needed. Another question that is frequently asked is, what if I can't fall asleep while I'm wearing the device? Well, while you are falling asleep, we still recommend having that data on there, as it is a part of the study as well. Many people actually fall asleep a lot sooner than they realize, so no worries on that front. So another question would be how long you should wear the home sleep study device. So the interpreting doctor asks of you to wear it for at least four hours, 
otherwise he will not take a look at it. Now we're not saying take the device off after four hours, just simply keep wearing it throughout the night and then by the morning just simply take it off and you're good to go. So Veronica, what if I need to go use the restroom or take a sip of water while I'm doing my sleep study? Great question, Rachel. So if you wake up during the night and if you need to use the restroom or take a sip of water, just simply keep wearing the device and then just go back to sleep. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Another great question is, when is the study over? The study will end once you wake up that next morning. During the initial consultation, we will instruct you what to do that next morning after your sleep study and how to return the system. So will you be able to go to work? The answer is yes. You should just be able to have a regular night's sleep and go to work the very next day. Talk to a Sleeptopia sleep specialist ahead of time if you have any questions or concerns. So what happens after you perform the sleep study? After the sleep study within seven business days, your sleep study interpreted report will be at your primary care physician's office. During those seven business days, we will send a copy of your sleep study report over to a board certified American Academy of Sleep Medicine doctor. So what is an interpretation of the sleep study? The board certified doctor will receive a copy of your report, which will show your AHI, your SVO2 levels, your average heart rate, and your REM cycles. Finally, they will send your primary care physician a copy of your sleep report and a recommendation. Alright guys, thanks for joining us today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment if you do have any more questions. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Welcome to the Sleeptopia family, and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.